Can we all just lift up our voices in prayer? Lord, thank you. We lift up our voices in thanksgiving tonight. You have done so many marvelous things. You have done so many good things for us. Above all, you have preserved us. You have kept us. And we are here to acknowledge tonight. Bengesi wa mangletu. Bengesi uwa zwetu. Kunge kwa na nukchua ela nukukonda. Kota kunga mangla ako konge. Nga loko makono fana lukubongwa. Kutu nyiswa, paka nyiswa. Asi kwa zuguzi kaja tina. Kota sileta kutumo. Nkazi mulo yonke. Izbongo. Ugu halalisa. Ugu paka misa. Na wongu kubonga. Kufanele wena ngulu ngulu etu. No one could have done this on their own. But your hand was heavily upon us. From day one up until today, which is the last day, Lord, you have been with us. Therefore, we praise you. Therefore, we honor you. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father. Amazwe tawane le ukbonga. Mapimbe tawane le ukbonga. Our voices, Lord, are not loud enough. Tell Kenele Bresku Valida Batos. Tegori Nahamba Lugris. Kalatama honke de kedose te kano mengi la duji da brando grevi la sunetas. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you honor. Our Lord and our King. Now and forevermore, in Jesus' name, we pray and we all said, Amen. Please be comfortably seated in the presence of the Lord. Let me take this time and greet each and every person who is here tonight in Jesus' wonderful name. Hallelujah. Um, if possible, please just occupy the seat in front of you uh, so that Siso was Ushalagashi Sonke. I greet Abazala Nebonke, Ibangalengosi, Bonka Bakona tonight. Please be greeted and be welcome. In the house of the Lord, Hallelujah. When it was Amen, so when God on Am Shange, sing a kubega pela man safi saganja no basalwane agi oni kinga ukfunu kolungo. Amen. Si abingele, Am Shange kona my wife. Ah. Mama unjovu, so she's here tonight. Uh, I know Guti online, we are also joined by our Johannesburg uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, we bless God so much for them. Amen. We want to salute to Mama Unjovu, Jobe Kona, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You can clap hands again, Basalo. Uh, uh, I want to greet. A leadership executive heads of departments all leadership are present tonight i greet you all in jesus mighty name amen abas varashele mangalonke sen bingele labazala nenge kamalengo suches hallelujah hallelujah i said hallelujah this is the day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, help us, Lord. <laughs> Praise God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Happiness is free. Each joy is free. 
is sadness is expensive. You pay your peace. So you choose which one you want. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Now, Bazalwane, I want to touch on a few things tonight, and then we are going to pray and close. Our in-house ministers, I greet you all in Jesus' name. Uh, I want to touch on a few things. I'm just searching for God's heart. Uh, so, we must not tell anga. Let's say no tell them a kind kiss or angulu angulu. Namko numunga mi namishanish. Is it as I put to praise God? Must not tell anga. Then in fundi zinu we peg. I say no fe ni peg ma kai. Praise God. I spoke. Uh, Last year and this year, what the Lord said, if you see revisit it, just that particular word. Year 2022 was a year of proclamation. Year 2023 was a year of preparation. And year 2024 is a year of what? Implementation. Implementation. Shutunyaga Ogwenza Loge Besig Lung Selela. I'm telling you, this coming year carries great opportunities for the body of Christ. Not only the whole body at large, but also individuals in the body of Christ. When I say it carries great opportunities, I mean there is just going to be so much favor upon the church. Things might not be easy, but there's going to be favor. If favor yon is a distinguisher, the saints from the heathens, it's going to be the distinguishing factor between the saints and the Gentiles. Utu Chobe, when they say there's a casting down, they shall be going up for you. It's because of favor. So this upcoming year carries such a heavy potency of favor for God's people. You're going to do something on a small scale, but favor is going to blow it up and make it become big. They that know their God shall be mighty and they shall do great exploits. It won't just be exploit, but it's going to be great exploits. Great exploits in the church, great exploits in the marketplace, great exploits in business, great exploits in career, great exploits in marriages, in families. They are going to do great exploits. What causes exploits to be, it's good if it's exploit, but Daniel Lutz, it's going to be great. So, you will be starting something small and the Lord is just going to pour favor on it. It's just going to become big. So, you must prepare yourself to manage things on a bigger scale. Number two, I spoke to you about Uluk Tedin. Uluk Tedin. And uh, Uchesu wajelega umkumbi Ka Simon And he started using this boat I'm sorry, it's Luke 5 It's Luke 5 they started, He started using this boat And when he was using this boat it is Lenko school verse number two and he saw two sheep standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets and he entered into one of the ships which was Simon's and prayed him that he would trust out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship so this is Jesus borrowing his cap as Simon 
when he borrowed the ship from Simon, his intention was to teach from it. It was to teach from it. Now, there's a blessing for a ministry that borrows Jesus, its platform. You can, you can have a church and preach from it, and you can also have a ministry and borrow, the plat- and borrow Jesus, your platform. When you borrow Jesus, your platform, it means that you are running God's kingdom agenda. You are not running your own agenda. You are not running a local church. You are running an apostolic center. Whenever God wants to do something in a particular region, when you have availed your boat, it means Jesus is going to come through you to that region. So there are ministries which are just running. There is two ways of doing ministry. You can run ministry the, the orthodox traditional way. But there's another way you can run ministry. It is when you borrow Jesus your platform. It means Jesus has absolute control, rulership. He's the one who provides direction. You can speak things which not only concern the people who are there, but things that concern the whole body of Christ. You have borrowed Jesus your boat. So when you borrow Jesus your boat, you, 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 you cannot run. You, you, you might have your own plans, but Jesus will now and again intervene to say, don't do this, do this. Don't do this, do, don't do it this way, do it this way. Because you have borrowed him, your boat. Hallelujah. So he borrowed Peter's boat and he started to teach from it. Now when he had left speaking, he said, Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have told all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy weight, I will let down the net. So from this year, 2022, I'm speaking this in a prophetic sense. Hallelujah. From this year, 2022, I'm looking for a very good way to put this. Ministries that have borrowed Jesus their boat, there comes a point where Jesus wants to reward. Simon for borrowing him his boat. Because most of the was told that why look just a fundi so Simon had delayed other ships were busy fishing. They were busy pushing the agenda. But Peter allowed his boat to be delayed in order for Jesus to teach from his boat. When the time was up, Jesus said to him, Now go and launch into the deep. And Zobonama results allowed to Peter, he caught more fish. Then the people who were fishing when Jesus was teaching. So God gave him acceleration in productivity. So number one, that's going to be our reality. Because Subbole doesn't make sense. It seems like you are left behind. It seems like you are not doing what others are doing. It seems like you are not concerned about the things that concern others. But when time for rewards come, young kid that you missed out in the years before, which also causes for you to be an acceleration and you recover all. Now, Tuku Petru will let down the nets. And when they done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish. And their net did what? broke. They did what? They broke. Now, the nets broke. Oma Ugui, you are in the church. In nets, God, Jesus, in New Testament, are believers. Jobas Changanenganje, we form what is called a net. Let's go to Ephesians 4. Ephesians chapters number 4. Ephesians chapter number 4. Let's begin from verses number 11. Ephesians 4 verses number 11. Ephesians 4 verse number 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. This is the reason why he gave this. For the what? The perfecting. Are you with me? For the perfecting 
of the saints. Leli kameliti perfecting. Likamuga, it's the word katartimos. Katartismos. Irutwe diayo, katartizo. Mfunasibuge in meaning ye rutwe. Maltua, the fivefold, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the teachers, and the pastors, and the teachers are there to perfect the saints, to perfect the saints. The legality perfect the saints, it's different from what teleios. Kunanyi term eti perfecting in Greek, eti teleios, to bring to full maturity, to bring to a complete state, to fullness. Let's say Jesus Kippur 6 verse number 1, or let us not lay like again the foundation of the principles of the doctrine of Christ, but let us go on to perfection. Let's say Jesus Kippur is not teleios, but it's katartismos. Irutwe diayo katatizo. It's used 13 times in scripture. I want us to go to Matthew 4 verse 1 to see how it has, Matthew 4 verse 21, how it has been used before. Kona sobono maktiwa, the fivefold is there to, to katatizo the saints. What does it mean to katatizo the saints, to perfect the saints? So that if you're an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist, a pastor, and a teacher, Perfecting the saints, what does it entail? This is what it means. And going on from then, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, katatizo their nets. And he called them. So, the lack of to katatizo, we should go to mend the nets. What is to mend the nets? To mend the nets is to fix the net and prepare it for a catch. So the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and the teachers, they are there to cut out the saints. When the saints go out and they come back into the house of God, the job of the fivefold is to mend. To restore, to repair, to prepare. The saints, not in anything, we prepare we prepare for it to be thrown out into the sea. We are strong to catch it and enclose it in. So, the purpose of fivefold is to cut the saints, to mend and prepare and repair them. We are going to repair to any repairing, we are going to repair spiritually, we are going to repair emotionally. Or when you're repairing your psychological, they must be mended in all areas because you can be strong spiritually, strong physically, go to be weak emotionally. You are a loophole. So the first talk of the fivefold is to make sure that the saints are mended as nets. They are mended as nets. So woman about my nets are mended. Though it was a miraculous catch. Jesus will perform a miracle, but you must perform the preparation. Because Jesus called the fish to come into the net. But Jesus couldn't repair the net for them. They are the ones who are supposed to prepare the nets so that when the miracle comes, they are ready to contain it. It's, 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 it's possible for someone to pray for a miracle that they are not prepared for. And when Jesus starts sending fish your way, you were never prepared for what you are praying for. So, who perfecting the saints, 412, who perfecting the saints, who should to cut the saints, to mend the saints, just like you mend a net. So, no one is in the house of God. Everyone comes to the house of God to be repaired and prepared and not stored, but used by God. For a great catch. But when I submit to you, the greatest catch and harvest is going to come by the saints. It's not coming through pastors. It's not coming through apostles. It's not coming through teachers and evangelists. If you are still expecting someone to pitch a big tent like the good old days and begin bringing in a great harvest, you have lost your sight, blind Bartimaeus. This is a time where the great catch is going to come through the saints. Jesus is trusting you, 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 you. Everyone who is here, Jesus is trusting you. Go to Zobai, mended net. Go to wherever you are. Because 
Sinners, his own is dwelling our seven corn. His own is dwelling our funda corn. His own is dwelling with marketplace. Lawen zako ni business. So if you come to Tamil to my long unga be mended, you are gonna be a broken net, and God won't be able to catch through you. So a great harvest is coming from the marketplace, and it's none is cut as na so bazalwan. We only have one hour to perform all the things I've spoken about. Mafundu me to twenty verse one to sixteen. Uzo tolo guti umunto tizwa inesvini wa loge pume yoka. Shot kasha banya on six six ten. Abanya bakasha on nine. Abanya bakasha on twelve. Nango one. Abanya bakasha on three. Kono la bakasha on five. Inokof awa u six. Kono bakale on nine. Nukse until u six. But kono bakale on five. La bakale on five. Bane awe lot to work in the field. You mean an hour, Eloy? We only have one hour. We we are we are conscripted into the master's vineyard at five o'clock, and the knock-off hour is six. So we have one hour to complete what others failed to do. Mal ali washil kali Jerusalem, liago Europe, liago Rome, liago ma Pentecostals and Charismatics. We are the last generation to see the last move of God. And this last move of God is going to last for one hour, but it must perfect all work. Funi i kete lum seven zo shule la ba nine na la ba twelve na la ba two. In a kunku nuku lu eti I the Lord will hasten it because we won't be able to do it through our own strength. It needs acceleration from Christ. If He can't accelerate it, um seven ning bazalwan. We must fix inside the church, and then we must go out to win sinners. And the Lord comforted me some time ago because I was asking myself, why are there no more sinners being won into the kingdom? The Lord said, I'm winning people. But I'm winning people from the old system to the new one. That's, that's the first soul winning which is science and man. It is to take people from the old system to a new system because no one, no one can bring people to a system that is going to demolish. He first renews the system. When the system is renewed, then he can recruit new people. So the greatest soul winning happening right now is a transition from the old to the new. When more people have transitioned from the old to the new, and Jesus is confident about our churches, if Jesus is confident about Christ Tabernacle, which it can handle the new, you will start by seeing souls coming in. They'll just be coming in. But if, 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 if for now, there's no more, there's no conduit, a letter of Amasinas, to, one thing important to Jesus is the soul of people. There's one thing which is not joking, it's the soul of men. Especially newborn babies. So when you bring them to the kingdom, So Jesus won't bring new souls to bad conditions. But he can trust us to change the conditions. Now it's to perfect the saints. Number two, for the work of the ministry. There's a comma there, to perfect the saints. Number two, comma. Number two, for the work of... We don't perfect the saints for the work of the ministry, no. We perfect the saints, that's one duty. The second duty, why are we giving apostleship, prophetic ministry? It is for the work of the ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is, for the, it is so that we can do the work of a diaconia. The like lead ministry is diaconia. It's taken from the world, it, de decon. They should put a seven so that we can become slaves and aid, a savior so that we can render savior so that we can render relief to occupy a particular office. So that's why it has been given. It is not to flag around, but it is to do the work of a slave. So you are an apostle because you have been conscripted to do the work of a diacon. An evangelist, the work of a diacon. So we are giving these ministries so that we bear the yoke. The people must see us bearing the yoke. There must be a yoke on our necks. Hallelujah. Number three, for the edifying of the body. Edifying is oikodomio. 
for the edifying of the body of Christ, for the building of the body of Christ, for, 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 for placing structure. I love that Lelikam Lit Oiko Domio, Lisho an architect, Lisho a structure. Figuratively, it means a confirmation or a building. So we are called to build, to place structures. This is my current bedding. Structures. We are concerned about so many things. Yet there's one thing we are not concerned about. Structures. Do you know what you don't pray for new wine if you have a new wine skin? The reason why we spend so much time praying for God to pour new wine and God is not pouring it out is because the wine skin is not correct. Once the wine skin is renewed, to spend less time asking for new wine. Elijah spent more time arranging the altar than the time he spent praying for fire. He prayed once for fire. Said, Lord God, let it be known that I've done these things at thy word. Therefore now send down fire. He kept quiet after that, then the fire came. So he spent like many hours arranging the altar because the glory will always follow the pattern. You cannot have the glory without the pattern. You cannot have the glory. No matter how prayerful you become. Many of us are very prayerful, but we, we, we are checkmated by Satan into a structure. Satan checkmates us. We cannot move because the structure is not accurate. There is no move of God. There is no freshness of the Holy Ghost because the saints are still crying over dead things, things that are in the past. They don't want to tender in their contribution to the kingdom of God. We are celebrating 506 years of reformation today. 31 October 1517, Martin Luther and his, and his, 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 his contemporaries, Bafaga 95 Thesis, everything back in Germany, a reformation. 506 years. What has been done in the body of Christ? 506 years, Ukalama restoration moves. 506 years of restoration. When you check progress, you realize what so little has been done. And when we come, we want to cry for what our fathers did. We still want to debate doctrine. We still want to debate things that have already been established. We don't want to move the kingdom work on forward. So if we die today, we to in a There's not much that we have done because we are busy fighting over things that have already been done by our fathers. So it is for the edifying of the body of Christ. Now, I'm a result from verse number 13. These are the result of verse 12. When the body, the, the saints have been mended, when the work of the ministry has been done, when the body of Christ has been edified, this is another point, year five fold ministry, it is for God to dwell among his people. Psalm 68, verses number 18. Psalm 68, verse number 18. We're going to come back to the result. Paul, he didn't um, mention this one, but was he born in mindset because when he ascended up on high, he was quoting this scripture. This is the scripture I was quoting. Might when he ascended upon high and he gave, he led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. He was quoting Psalm 68, verse number 18. Thou hast ascended on high. Thou hast led captivity captive. Thou hast received gifts for men. How did he receive gifts for men? When Jesus ascended, the Father gave him apostleship. The Father gave him prophetic ministry, evangelistic, pastoral and teaching. He received this gift, but not for him, but for men. So in ascension, he received them and he gave some. Hallelujah. Yeah, even for the rebellious also. Why? This is another reason. So that the Lord God might dwell among them. So the fivefold is there so that God might dwell among his people. So if fivefold comes to intensify the presence, the inhabiting presence of God, not the visiting presence. God may visit, but where there is apostle, there is prophet, there is evangelist, there is pastor and teacher, God tabernacles because we have the fullness of Christ. 
So it is so that God may be among his what? His people. Let's go back to Ephesians. So these are four purposes of the fivefold ministry. Perfecting the saints to do the work of ministry, to edify the body of Christ so that God may dwell among them. These are four purposes. Now these are the results. When God has dwelt among us, when we have done the work of the ministry, when we have edified the body of Christ, when we have perfected the saints, this is how we are going to see. Are you here? No one will shout and say we have done these things. These are the results. Number one, we are going to come to the unity of the faith. There will be unity in doctrine. There will be unity in teaching. There will be unity in teaching. If I have a different view about this. Because there is going to be unity in the faith. Number two, there is going to be the knowledge of the Son of God. There is knowledge of epignosis, which is revelation knowledge. This is not knowledge you read. This is knowledge that is born in your heart. Because you have Jesus or Zambu, you have to be born in your heart. John 6 verse 44 no one comes to me except my father draws him so there is Utu Jesu Samon Peter Uti revelation of Kulumayo it was not revealed by flesh and blood but it comes from the realm of the father my father told you so to the knowledge of the son of God one thing when the five folders work there is an eruption of the revelation of Jesus Abbasalon begin having revelation in the house they begin having revelation the least among us will have revelation about Jesus Christ some, and that revelation will give birth to miraculous signs and wonders. Even little kids will move in a revelation. No one will need to teach another about Christ because a person will be looking in scripture. Let this be seen. They are brought to a place of revelation. They are brought into the womb of knowledge and revelation. So they are there. They, are no, they no longer depend to be taught only. But even the spirit of revelation is upon the list of us. So, most of Mr. Number to tell us about Jesus, you'll hear a new revelation about Christ. Because in knowledge, epignosis of the Son of God comes. Unto a perfect man. Unto a perfect. Now, Uzobona Guti lo perfect. Nalo Mukaze Kale Ninde in Bilech again. Kono perfect, we're perfecting the saints, which is mending. When they are perfected, they become perfect. When they've been catartizo, they become the layers. When they've been mended, they become complete. You know, the religious church system maintains the saints. God, the kingdom church system mends the saints. Two different things. There is management and advancement. An apostolic church is an advancing church. A religious church, you come as you are, it maintains you as you are. It, it, you are maintained. But you cannot grow. You cannot grow. You cannot grow. From where you were. The following year, Haibu. Now I'm saying knowledge about the Son of God. I'm being perfected. My emotions, my mind, I'm thinking differently. It's only an apostolic kingdom church that can bring believers to this state. Till we all come to the knowledge of the Son of God and to a perfect man. The leg of perfection would be complete. Labor, growth, mental and moral character. When you are perfected mentally, you are well, your morals. You, the, the fivefold is that work on your morals until you have a high moral standard. You have a high mental standard. So, if fivefold must also touch your mind, not only your spirit. Have you noticed how saints want to solve everything by prayer? I told you my statistics on Sunday, a book I'm reading, it 
most countries that are poor and are deteriorating. My countries are pants, I told Abazalwana. Most countries that are Christians are the poorest countries. Go Abazalwana by it, be on king to pray. Mark Talk Shota man send away into a sort of does. Shot to kiss in the nice on so on begum cool win. Mark to a woman, woman Muslim Shota man send away Nashang and how can we bring water here? Bazalwana. Things are going to change. And they are going to change drastically. And for us to participate in the move of God, we must be prepared for the change. Because if you are not prepared for the change, you are going to go back to tradition. Now, perfection is to complete. Mental, moral character. We should complete. We should be full of age. Full of what? Of age. The Lika Magal Telosel said just so many times. Mazel Tola go made to 5 verse 48. Lisho, Lisho to be perfected in love as well. Isugi 5 folding a gasebe in Zabazal Menga Bebenga Rabi perfect or Tanduin. He is sign, you would the Holy Spirit is at work, is that the tree starts bearing fruit. He sign, you would have to wound the Luana Gelo, or would teach Aloja Leco, and it is very calm. Call a Vesama fruit. So, in the sign of the Holy Ghost, he is at work in that place. Is that the Holy Ghost starts bearing fruit, and that fruit is called perfectness. That perfectness is love. May to five verse forty-eight. To be ye perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Mafu nama verse zanga enka. Mokala pago verse number forty-three. Uzotola into kulnyo chesula. Is in dollars that we don't look at, but this is the work of the fivefold. Ye have heard that it has been said, "Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy." Ushu chesu. Let's flow with this one. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Ah. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Well, at least this is Cut toxic friends. If you give me attitude, I give you attitude. Love is reciprocal. Eh? Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you. Little people, but Tanazela, but use you. And those who persecute you, yes? Verse 45. Why do we do this? It is so that you may qualify to be the children of our Father in heaven. Why? It is because Why are So to prove that we have come to a place <laughs> of being children to our heavenly Father. It is to send our rain to the good and the bad. To send our son to the just and the unjust. If you love them which love you, what reward do you have? Do not in the zone as when in lock his own. Obi zone is stand mutum tanda and zone mutum zondai. Master to verse number, if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the publicans do so. Who said Baba be perfect? None who be perfect. Love those who hate you. So love is a code to teleos. You can't be perfect without love. So be ye therefore. How can I be perfect? It's loving my neighbor and my enemy. That is a true Christian religion. And the land of the it's good, it's a good sign. Because it can only be done by grace. That's why love is not labor, it's a fruit of the spirit. Because you can't attain this kind. You can't decide this kind. You must allow the Holy Ghost to work on you until he produces it. It's a product of the Spirit, not a, a, a reward of your labor. Even the most holiest and goodest man cannot love his enemies. The goodest and most holiest man cannot do what? 
Love is amazing. He cannot. You can't. It must be by the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And so, if fruit, what is the end product of a seed? What is the end product of a seed? Kulman number one. Fruit. Mang petim beu ezufo ngibuzu te ya ne ya ne. Can you tell? How can you tell after I plant them, right? And they start producing fruit. So if I come to and say I'm Christian, no matter I'm Christian, how can you tell who's a true Christian? Give it time. Give both of us what? Uzobon and product. Uzobon with what kind of seed has been planted. So the end product of any seed is fruit. The end product of the work of the Holy Spirit is the fruit called love. Is the fruit called what? Called love. I want to show you something. Let's look at Colossians 1 verse 28. Colossians 1 verse 28. Jesus Christ whom we preach we preach him by warning every man and we preach him by teaching every man in all wisdom why? that we may present every man teleios in Christ Jesus are you with me? so I call your phone this away too it is so that each and every one must be present at Jesus. Abe se figelegle appoint ye fruit. Ayok shuma ela ye fruit. And that fruit is the fruit of the spirit. Niko anan kota basa lo noam. I will show you a few things about why perfection is not a gift. Perfection in the kingdom is love. The end product of seven and five fold is to bring the saints to a place called love. This might not seem like a big revelation to you. You know why? It's because it, it's a journey that you must walk. It's a journey that you must walk and allow the Holy Spirit to work in you. That the day you sign up, one of the ways you can do that is to say that you are not I will be perfect in love. It's not through doctrine, it's through circumstances. He exposes you. Some of you are going to meet someone and some people will be able to do it. And some people Just after this teaching, you might meet them tomorrow. And the Lord will be looking at you how you react. The Lord will say to you, you have not been perfected in love. This is the journey that is waiting for all of us to come to a place of love. That is where we are perfected. Because God is not healing, God is love. So we want to present every man Teleios in Christ. Teleios in Christ. Do you know what he would handle all those sins that we judgment day sing are be inferior? First John 4. First John 4, verse number 17. First John 4, verse number 17. It is the love. Eliso sends a siwazuguma pam wake. Uches. Sing a binama shone. Herein is our love made delayous. That we may have what? Boldness. When? In the day of judgment. Why? This scripture, we have always misinterpreted this scripture. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Now, this scripture is very powerful. But you as he is, so are we in this world. God is all powerful. Now I'm all powerful. You'll misinterpret the whole thing. This is speaking about being perfected in love. Have Matthew 5, verse 47. Naughty. B 
be as your perfect as your father in heaven is perfect how is your father in heaven perfect by loving enemies so as he is in love in heaven so are we here in love so this scripture is addressing matters of love not matters of power as he is in heaven how is god god is perfected in love so as he is in heaven so are we in this world Masutin verse number 18 Utu verse number 18 there is no fear in love but perfect love cast out fear because fear has torment he that feared is not made perfect in love so to an osu lo kwa hlulelwa into ezo senza sime ngesibini phambi kwa ukuthi sithande enjoba ethanda senzeni bazalwane bayo kunazi ngalo ukuthi ngaba funi bami ukuthi nenzeni lo lutha nenkulu mangala is not pretense nina bazalwane ni amenejana abazwane ba amenejana they manage each other. Just give you a hug and pass you. Go to another one, give you a hug. And... It's very rare to find concrete, genuine believers. Very scarce. And I'm aware we are finishing fasting today. And this is the badge that the Holy Spirit wants us to wear. The badge of perfectwood. A badge of love. So he that feareth is not made perfect in what? Kulman numbers alone. In love. First Peter 4, verse number 8. Sibone no wunye u til tini by bin. First Peter 4, verse number 8. I guess bonu to tando in your lens. And above all things, above all what? I call it verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be what? Sober. So that, according to Vision Eternity, be sober. So that you can pray. The end, when the end of all things comes near, there is going to be an attempt from the kingdom of darkness to intoxicate our sobriety. So that we can be able to pray fervently, we must first detox and be sober. And watch unto prayer. The devil can intoxicate your mind. The devil can bring you a friend. The devil can bring you a friend. Yeah, can bring you a friend. Those are peace. Intoxicate and get business. And then the soul, no matter peace. You can no longer be sober so that you can pray. Utu Peter, bo pani inkalo zen gondo yem. Utu inkalo zen gondo yem. When you, when, when you get the loins of your mind, you are preparing your mind for action. Lana utu be sober and watch unto prayer. Verse number 8. But above being sober, above watching unto prayer, above all things, have fervent love among yourselves. For love shall cover the multitude of what? Oh, generation, if, if, there is no love to cover a multitude of sins. Our generation, you commit one fault, they can never forgive you. You will be remembered for that fault until you die. I was watching something very pa pa painful uh, about two Jimmy Swakat. Because our generation has not forgiven that man. When they make an example about him, they use his scandal. They will never use the more than one million souls he won to the kingdom. Because our generation, because that thing happened years ago. Love does what? Covers what? Lenti shugu tu tano lenza lea kolela. If you want unforgiveness on oni kolo. Mofu nukfundu tini unforgiveness. Mamu kuma kolo ngazu tini unforgiveness la. Mas pu manjela wono yeto. I can't teach you unforgiveness. I'll give you practicals. Kambu wono yeto anji. 
Believers cannot forgive. Can't let go. Like let go. Hallelujah. Love covers the multitude of what? Of sins. Praise the name of Jesus. I will not go through other scriptures. But to Romans 13 verse 8 to 10. Uti love is, fulfills the law. Love fulfills the law. Do not commit adultery. Do not commit fornication. Do not lie. Do not fear false witness. The Ten Commandments. They are all fulfilled in love. The first three commandments deal with your vertical relationship. Your relationship with God. The last seven deal with your relationship with men. That's you and Jehovah. Ungebi, you cannot steal from God. You can only steal from your neighbor. So Leo seven is seven. If you love, you can steal from your neighbor. If you love, you can bear false witness about your neighbor. So these are all things that are captured within love because love fulfills the whole law. Praise the name of Jesus. Now I want to close, Bazalwan. So we come to the perfect man and to a perfect man. Ephesians 4. That's why I want us to close. Ephesians 4. We come unto a perfect man. To a perfect fellow. And to the matron. And to the matron. Like I'm late measure is the word matron. Le show a potion. Can you give me this glass and water? Yeah, give me, give me. Are you with me? This is what God does. I see a person. Yeah, thank you. Le le kamlet metron le show uti measure. You receive a measure. What the devil will do is to try and poke holes in your life so that you lose this measure. Mm. It is to make sure there are no holes in the holding vessel so that the holding vessel will contain every measure, every metron. When you come again, another measure is being poured. You keep on coming, another measure is being poured. It, it's being poured. Until you come unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So, this is what God is looking for. But how he achieves this is that he does not give you all of it at once. He gives you potions. Through the apostle, you receive a particular portion. Through the prophet, you receive another portion. Through the evangelist, you receive a portion. Until you come unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So, measures. Thank you. Some are half full. Some are empty. Some don't watch over their vessel. So, their vessel is leaking. So no matter how much a portion you pour, when they come back the following week, it's as if you never poured anything because their vessel is not mended. So, funera wangu muntu akate. Hallelujah. They might lose them tomorrow. Because Satan during the fasting. So once you receive a metron, you watch it. 
that there is nothing that's going to poke your vessel because if it pokes your vessel you're going to leak out and as you leak out you're going to be empty again so there is no growth you won't come to the marriage of the start of the fullness of Christ you must be full of Christ but Christ is dealt with you in particular measures don't lose what has been poured on you for 31 days you've been coming to church you've been praying and the Lord has been dealing measures metrons, metrons, metrons the devil is waiting for you after 40 days and 40 nights when Jesus fasted the devil came so don't really only expect God after fasting expect Satan as well <laughs> hallelujah he loves coming after such times to do what to poke your vessel. Some of you will, will some will lose everything just by anger. You'll be angry and speak bad words. So ah, the metron is lost. So I pray that no one faces that. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until we come unto that metron of the stature of the fullness of Christ. The like I'm late fullness is pleroma. I know prophet Mamgovu, uh, she did an extensive teaching on this term. Eti pleroma. Okay? So until we come to the pleroma, the like I'm late pleroma, lisho, um, a full container. Lisho with something that has been filled up. Fullness. Let's say just so I'm a captains um, of a of a harbor. Mom Kumbusula show on Kamakago. Why am I at the Pleroma? As you would see, the ship is full, it can go. There is no more space. So God wants to fill you until there is no more space. He wants you to be so full of Christ until there is no more space, even for a demon. You are so full of Christ. You are pleroma. You have come to full capacity. I saw as in Yimpasha. So this is the work of the fivefold ministry. Master 2, verse number 14. That we henceforth. That we henceforth. Verse number 14. Then we henceforth be no more nepios. Be no more minors or infants. So, one any result of what I was on Bazo Suge Buntuanin. Hallelujah. So, it should tell Joman Gim Lang, Joma Shinja Nasima, Laguli Apostolic Center, a Utini Suge Buntuanin. Nisuge. We must bring everyone to a state of manhood spiritually. When you speak solid stuff, everyone should be at home. Ma, ma, where's this guy? When you speak solid stuff, you realize what ah, some people are still. They cannot process solid stuff. So we need to go back and do milk. Can't you master seven? There are she. Nan bazalwa. Nan bazalwa. Ma kuli ngo kusecha nzungu na kuli kuli. It's not only the fivefold. Ngoba kuli command the bazalwa. It is on the land. Jeng amacha pili le nan you have a responsibility. You go to when we work nan need to come closer to us. And as you come closer, you must come closer as a living stone. So each and every one of us will be able to fill it. Must we fill it? Funal sonde legma kuzumaki al tatal fit to rightful places. Now, most people they just want the past is the past. No, the believers also have a responsibility. Your responsibility is to be available as a living stone. So to Peter, so the language of Matthew fill it. The sonde legui each and every one of us will be able to. Kote unkunukunul keteki le. Uti nani nje ngama chapi le sonde la nguyo uguze na kwe nibe yinjo yomo so God is gonna build you to become a house using the fivefold ministry but only if you come close you can't muto figure in kuzenga tashale legute omuda be gute niki zio oh I saw another painful thing I pala bazaluane abatize omonyo eklega masonto guta masonto na na omonyo angenwa no 
Kulula nje kile skati. Mwa fesu ote ndon commit. Nga ifaga kulu ngena nje usontu pumu hambe. Because they were saying there are many bad things that have happened to believers. I'm not negating that that might be the truth. But we can't discard it the right way just because some people have misused it. Don't even give your money. Just go sit down and go. Ah, don't commit. <laughs> just come sit there at the back. We shall look up for my mobile. But some people get taken. But you can jump from one relationship to another. One head, how old got the pelago? I wish you spoke about it. So, so <laughs> when you come to the house of God, the command is come close. So, so on the left foot, what to Peter? So, on the loose, you eat a little so that when we take you, we say, You fit here, you fit here, you fit here. When you come to a church, commit. Commit. There is something you said, this all to go and win souls. Oh, to build the body of Christ is not for strangers. Hmm? When you come into a church, you come as a stranger. You to gifted. The place you must be, you must be united with the saints, united with the anointing of the house. It is only then that you can build in that house. Because strangers can't build a house. So how do you detox from being a stranger? How do you transition from being a stranger to being a son of the house? Commitment. You commit into the house. We we see what oh this person. Is really for us. Hallelujah. This person is really for what? For us. Leonto wenzu kuti kisha maputo wenzu sula sasa zuguta weko intentional. Aweko jani intentional. They are just mistakes. Because we know you are one of us. Praise the name of Jesus. We henceforth be no more children. What are children? When the girl and the boy will born again, he call and say, "I'm to Anna." Elinga subject till we fight fault. Elinga subject till we apostle, we prophet, we evangel, we lose no teacher. How do you see them? Ali na woke na ma qualities and get to wabal. Ali na ma measurements of Christ. They are not made forms of Christ in Him. Ali got perfected in love. Ali Ali na knowledge of the Son of God. When you ask them about Jesus, they don't know anything about Christ. No revelation. No revelation. Hallelujah. Ali go united in the faith. Ali only perfect men. But number number le le mfuna si bugut. You are henceforth no more children. What is the sign of a children? Tossed to and fro. If you meet an in an unstable believer, you must know you have met a child. Utinu James, would let a man who doubts not think he will receive anything from God, because just like the waves of the seas, he is tossed to and fro by the winds. Would such a man cannot receive anything from God, because he's unstable in all his ways. God cannot trust instability. So a kid, a kid is there not two. Fro, I have kids in my home. You meet them in the dining room, in the sitting room. You meet them outside. Lower, I don't feel unless you scat. I feel like I'm going to show. I'm sure I'm just saying, "Say be clever, say be bugle any angel." How let any bugle is like that one? That one is bad, bad. It's a trick because kids are tossed to and fro. Hallelujah. So once we overcome. Being tossed to and fro, and being carried about with every wind of doctrine. Hey, every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness, 
There's a, there's a lady who used to visit us here at church long ago. She passed on now. So there's a bride of mine who used to be connected to that lady. And somehow when we were talking, I asked him, where is that particular lady? He said, ah, she passed on. And he says to me, things were bad. I said, why? I remember she used to come, she had a business and I think she was searching for riches until she began performing is it any witchcraft kind of God and the spiritual like the baby or long baby or pussy mal corner I'm so pay in the order that is a call as a spiritual what they sing and no Rosanna Ben I foot moon to my little no man fully prosperity for us your point my lemon shop or lunch. What got no twasal? Got the imbatis we got. Hallelujah. Seven is in the way to buy or seven or shovel a man's about case and I lost out about his got all done in the name of Christ. And they had no church they were belonging to anymore because they felt like their church are not updated in spirituality. She died in that state. Why? She used to come to our ministry. She would sit down and listen to the weight. But that was not enough. She wanted more than the weight. Tossed to and fro. If someone comes, no sound, that's where they are running. Because they are not searching for Christ, they are searching for results. So you are tossed to and fro. Oh, Jesus will never give you his things if you can't stay the course. Jesus wants men, not babes. If he's not confident in you, he can cause you to wait for years until he's confident because his gifts are irrevocable. Once he gives you something, he has given it to you. He can't take it back. So, oh, Jesus will wait for you if you are not committed, if you cannot stay the course, if you cannot stay with him when everything doesn't make sense for years. Forget that you'll ever receive anything from the Lord because you are a doubting man. So one thing you must overcome is to be tossed to and fro. Many people fail at the test. They want to run with this when they see it's not working. So your, your life becomes a lab, a guinea pig where new methods are tested. When there's a new doctrine, your church is going to be the one to test it. Your life is going to be the one to test it. Everything is tested on you because you don't have firm grounds. For you to make it, you must stand. You must stand. So, Jesus, to be, not to be tossed to and fro, and killed about with every wind of doctrine, by the slate of men and cunning craftiness, where they lie in way to deceive. My often they like a cunning craftiness. It, 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 it's a very interesting way to Bazalwane. Ikameliti panorogia. It's a trick. Li tatelo guma Greek. I'm a Greek, but ma be gala matais. This is how they'll trick you. Ma be kembula ma matais. Ba be ba ba kitais labo elgenai winning number. So uma uzo jalu sa umtu anu ngaga abina lulaz. They will panorogia you. Bag niggas are mad and now my winning numbers. If the winning number is six, they will give you Tyson and now six. No matter how hard you strike, you can't win. So your craftiness, once you fall into their net, no matter how honest you are, no matter how genuine you are, there is no winning number let Tyson cast out. If you skill the hand and in casting a dice, once you fall under their no gear, you can't escape. So you no longer just making mistakes, even if you are not too good. You were taught how to cast the dice, but later I saw number six. Lino five, no five, I will go six. So that is panogia, it's cunning craftiness. So Every doctrine formed can only be averted by one subjecting themselves and 
under the apostolic and prophetic and under the fivefold. If you are not subjected under anyone in this particular season, you will fall prey to the cunning craftiness. And I'm saying this because I'm seeing people who hop from one church to another. People who have thousands of teachers. That one is teaching you. That one is teaching you. That one is te- Where was the one? Times are no longer the same. You must commit to a particular cause. You must commit to a particular cause because if you don't commit, you will think you are good in dice playing and you don't know you are playing a dice without a winning number. Oh, what am I talking about? Commitment in my generation. It is a far-fetched idea. Very few people are willing to commit. And when I say commit, I mean stay in the course. Stay in the course. <laughs> Hallelujah. Staying the course. Verse 15, and then I'm closing. I'm closing now. I know we are almost ready. But we will do what? Speak. The aletheo. Speak the truth in agape we will speak that truth in what not in judgment but in love and that we may grow up into him in all things even in Christ who is the head hallelujah I'll make this example of growing unto him in all things not to according unto him in all things. This is Christ. All things will push your finance, your marriage, your parenting, your moral life, your mind, your career, your everything. You might have been taught which is Nigelek Jesu as in Kizio. Litmasu Shale and the fivefold. You will want everything to grow unto him. So, if I fall to teach about finance, you'll realize that finance it was not growing unto him. You can be growing in finance, but not growing unto him. You can be growing in relationships, but not growing unto him. So, if I fall is there to, to cause you to align all things, my marriage, my finance, my morals, my mind, must grow unto him. So that ultimately he becomes... The head. Man, so Jesus in Clark she was this literal head. Man, so we had a body. Actually, what is Zulin so figure? See, Mzimba water. No, these are metaphors. Hallelujah. Man, so in the day in Clark we was and these are metaphors. Praise God. Do you know what you can you can live? Nekisi zoyaki ngasa pampi pampi some machine. Our abko na watu machine. Ok ok pilis ok pampi simbod. Amen. So, we pray for people to find heads. Hallelujah. We speak the truth in love and we grow up unto him in all things, which is the head even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted how is the body compacted? How is the body compacted? How is it united? It is united by that which every joint means. So, we, we, the body unites to the head by that which every joint supplies. So, um, as a school, a song, one common to line that for the cooler was a job we joined back on into his supply. Ngoba njoba kukho into isupply yayo umzimbi uzokwazi ukubamba nama senior ohlangana nenhloko. Makhona abadoja abanga supply ku delay process yokuthi umzimbi uhlangana nenhloko. So by, 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 by compacted by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. So there is a measure for each and every part. We make increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This body of Christ edifies itself in what, Bazalwan? In what? In love. So, these are the important points that are very important for us to note and for us to know. 
Because if they understand the local, we will be able to define church. And once we are able to grasp the heart of the Spirit pertaining what church is, there will be no stopping the church. It will overcome the gates of Hades. God, my sister, and the children of what church is, you will see what it is. There's so much failure we are going to encounter. But now the Holy Spirit is redefining church to us. So that we all know what the church is. And what the church is there for. The church is there for bigger things than you can imagine. Because you are here... I want to give you the word that the Lord gave me for year 2024. I'll explain it. We covenant conference. But I'm just going to give it to you today. This will inform all our labors for next year beginning from next year. I don't know, Makubane, if you can assist me. Um, Holy Spirit. Please help me preach to your neighbor and say things are going to radically change and become apostolic and prophetic. Vazalwan, you are going to begin serving God. You'll begin to see the joy of serving the Lord. Oh my God. Oh my God. Makubane, help me to post what I've just sent you. I've sent you something there. Okay, I think that's the perfect one that I've just sent you. I don't know if it's going to be clear. But I'm hoping it is going to be clear. We will do a formal <laughs> release of it. What I just taught today is, is in line with what we are going to be working on. This is, this is the heartbeat of the Holy Spirit. This is the current heartbeat of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I pray we all catch up very quickly. Because the Holy Ghost is not where he was yesterday. He's not static, he moves. He doesn't change, but he moves. Are you winning? Okay. Maybe I should just read it here. <clears throat> Mums of can you please come help me? Just read it from here. I'll go question like a bill just for so many my Year 2024, 
activation of the saints and apostolic centers. That's the way to I so much wish we had it there or there it is. So, for, I, I, I will explain it during our covenant conference. But from next year, that's our drive. Hallelujah. Activation of the saints and apostolic centers. Hallelujah. We want to activate each and everyone. And we want to activate what we have here in different locations. You know what the vision is? It's a very robust one. But when the Lord gave me, I said, yes, Lord, it's going to be done. One apostle per city. One apostle per city, one pastor per community. Yeah, I want to bring a year of blessings. <clears throat> the response will be different. Who has bewitched you, Christ Tabernacle? Who bewitched you? Activation of the saints and apostolic centers. We already have an apostolic center in Johannesburg. We already have we already have a lead apostle in Johannesburg. We already have an apostolic center in PMP. We pray for more. The Lord raise more apostolic leaders. So that there are apostolic centers in Deben in Newcastle. In different parts. That's how we're gonna bring nations down. It is when we maximize grace. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. Oh, this is not my word, this is the word of the Lord. It's nice to celebrate it, but we should be more willing to implement. I said 2024 is a year of what? Implementation. We proclaim the revival. We are prepared for it. We are implementing the following year. This is the day of the saints. Not the day of pastors. All. No, 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 no. The saints, Usam Soni, Wasi Shisa, Isvin, Samafilist, Gempungush. He didn't go into the no, no. He get that impungusha as bopela ngemisila, and when you tell him lilwa say tetela, they bend the wall fines down. He activated. That's our word for the following year. I'm prompted to share it. I I had kept it from with myself for the for almost the whole month. I only shared it with my wife and few people, but this is the one. From next year, you must prepare to be activated. And we are transitioning from being a local church to fully becoming an apostolic center. There's going to be a radical transition from being a local church to becoming a full operational apostolic center. Apostolic center runs on active kingdom agents, not on members. It's time for the kingdom, Bazalwan. It's time for revival. When we say revival, we don't only mean people rising from wheelchairs and the dead. We mean the accurate representation of God and Christ. So, start praying on this. Start praying on this. Start praying on this. See me again, you it. Please go home and meditate on everything I said today.
God is serious now. He wants to do serious work. Let us close our eyes. He wants sons that are going to rise and take nations for him. Are you that man? Or should we wait for another? Are you the one who is to come? Or should we wait for another? Is this the generation that the Lord is going to bring all nations under siege? Or should the Lord wait for another generation? I want you to pray. Tell him, Lord, I am the man for the job. Please pray. I won't pray for you. Pray for yourself. Lord, I am the man for the job. I am the man for the job. I am the man for the I avail myself. I want you to cry out. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. Kabare soledan. Tequila bano breso ketabatas. If you need to repent for time you wasted, you need to repent for seasons you wasted, this is the moment. You need to come to him. Come to terms with him. Lord, I had forgotten my mission. I had forgotten why you saved me. You saved me to save. I was comfortable. Woe unto them that are at ease in Zion. Woe unto them that are at ease in Zion. Son of man, sound the alarm in Zion. Raise up a shout in Zion. Sound the alarm in Zion. Lord, I bring myself to you again. I bring my body, my spirit, my soul to you again. Raise me up that I may serve you. Raise me up that I may walk with you. Raise me up that I may perform your will. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kalado seledare kupa kepali tanelo kelas. Shekete pelitano rasole kebe kwenta la pane koriba sole liba kushama takata le breke le veli pano tebi sala kutane kalpa rosele kebe kota pakota la paros shetele tene kete di pano rika mando breko tapa kotas oya ya kumama ke palos ke parika parosa vila Thomas. Come on, someone pray in the spirit. Kabashe la braso le dare. Lima ma 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 ko shaba da bras. Ke pa kwa da palos. Let me hear you pray. 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 Kapara sula tama da kwa tas. Kebe tele sele tele hes. Kula tamanda la ba ko raba ba ko shala. Lebre kuta pali kata pra kotale. Shepe pete pelika na mandobres Shila de penila buremo sila taya De kwate kwata kwata bas Kulele belele bebe 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 kosha Keba baba 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 bako seke telebetos Kushama dabra kantala Leba kushama tat Keba tula masule kelebos Telebe kotapala Lebeko shada brasole Mantaka ya Mantaka la talos Can you pray this last day of the fast? Can you just give yourself into prayer? Just for a few minutes Just give yourself into prayer Kapari masole tamatele Kepere sevete plekon tamatila Liparo shalabatana Lebeko shapa katala Lebeko tepeko teperos Kepetoli masula tana Libra kushaba labara Lebeko tepeko tebelos Kepatoli mas Can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Keba baba 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 shaba Kebele ketepe kushaba larabasu Lebeko tepeko tebelos Kushaba mama 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 Kelebe kotaba ya labahosa Pray in the Holy Ghost Pray in the Holy Ghost Kapa shada pa kwa tasu Kele tembele beko samayala Ke pa 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 ko shakata Le beko shabala rabaso Le beko tapa kwa tabalas Ke mbale tali raba kushele Ke pare tamalika tapa rahosa Le beko tepe lima husabala ta Le beko shababa baba 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 Shebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
e caramande la barossa libere che shandara limbe conda mande pari la rosala le peroti mande qua riva a tele le precota qua tatas shaita la rossa shaita rossaia e tela rossa mata e tela cota manta e peria sota li precotese li proto maiala li preto kama e preso la tap li paria set il a quitté, il a bako, il shamata, le blessalata, tele tele te, il shamayata, le katakala, il shamalete, kebe tele he, il shamatas. Mama, mama, ma, tele le bekosa, il shamata, tele 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 bere, il shamala rabara, tole gele bere kovali bros. Kumbanda palia tome de belede, kuparia to bala kaparada, bele de bere ke bele to shila, ushaba baba baba baba, ke patwa katapa, kutapa kwata patala, tepe kwe tepe ke tele, ishaita losa, parento, 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 parento kapairo senta, ipairo tamasuleta, ipe kontole, e patwa kamas. Tuale sole God, 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 tuila sunete, tuelta na numase, itali ya sobe, tueli salita, tuina mantele, ente tueli sa. Baruka dose blede bres. Thank you, Holy Ghost. O Kalepan, Vali Borivoni Sonital, Fevina Tumehos, Fevento Kemitabals, Kabaras, Kabarabaros, Sevenebras. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Kings. All the praise and all the glory is unto you. Every measure that you have received will not be lost in the name of Jesus. I said every measure that you have received shall not be lost. Shout amen. Just say amen. Lord, we will not work backwards. But we are going to work forward. To accomplish your will and purpose in our day and time. Be glorified, Father. Be honored and be exalted. King of kings and Lord of lords. Thank you for everything that you have done here. The praise is yours. The honor is yours. My Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Let us all shout, Amen. amen. Let's give glory to God. Give glory to God. to close for tonight let us bring our thanksgiving offering laid down on the floor our offering just laid down on the floor free will thanksgiving every type of offering that you can bring today
we're going to close our eyes and pray. Lord, I bless the offering that has been brought by your children. That is physical and that is electronical. Let the blessing of the Lord rest upon them. Let the glory of God become the crown of everything they do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be blessed now and forever, O oh Savior, O oh King of glory. We pray, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we all shouted, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 As I stand here, I want to announce our 2023 annual prayer and fasting has come to an end tonight. I know that one is for us, not for God. Come on, celebrate him. Celebrate him. He's faithful. He's good. He's wonderful. His mercy enjoys forever. His goodness stretches to the fourth generation. He does good for all men. He's been our reputation from generation to generation. Even before the mountains were formed. The Lord has been our reputation. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Praise. So we bless God. We have done our part. We will continue to do so. We have been made and prepared. So expect blessing. Expect rewards. Expect breakthrough. No one has terrified God for 31 days and their life remains the same. Open doors. I declare open doors. Everyone on ground and online, open doors. Open doors in the name of Jesus Christ. Let no door be stopped on. Let no door be stopped on. Let no seed not bear fruit. Let every seed, every prayer you pray, every offering you make, let it bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessing upon blessing, grace upon grace, breakthrough upon breakthrough, favor upon favor in the name of Jesus. We receive the harvest. I said we receive the harvest. We receive every answer for every prayer we paid for. By faith we receive. By faith we receive. By faith we receive. We are not living empty handed tonight. Everything we prayed for is in our hands. I declare whatever you prayed for is yours tonight. Whatever you prayed for is yours. Whatever you labored for in prayer is yours. Whatever you believed God for is yours. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks in faith, in faith. Don't do it for a church program, but give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks from the bottom of your heart. From the bottom of your heart, behave as someone who has received it. Behave as someone who has received it. Behave as someone who has received it. Be joyful as someone who has received it. Congratulations to you all for walking the journey and staying the cause. 
Some were challenged, but you continued. The Lord saw it all. The Lord saw it all. He saw it all. He saw your obedience. He saw your endurance. He saw you stay the course. It was not in vain. You will see fruits. Your projects are going to come alive. Your ideas are going to come to life. What was dead is going to resurrect. What was born, what was unborn is going to be born. What was in the form of a seed is going to break forth. I see you accomplishing much for God. Accomplishing more than what you imagined. More than what you thought. More than what you planned. I see the Lord causing everything you do to blossom. I see him causing it to blossom. If you believe it, it shall happen. There is financial breakthrough that is coming upon the church. The Bible calls it wealth transfer. There is an exchange of hands. Finance. 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 Resources. Resources. Not only riches, but wealth, lands, properties. My God. There are some who are receiving it. There are some who are receiving it. There are some who are receiving it. You will manage and handle things you didn't handle before. You will count money you never counted before. For the glory of God, not for your own sake, but for the glory and for the kingdom. Lord, I bless your people. Bless and keep them. Bring them to life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your power overflow in them. Lord, as we seal this fasting, you have been with us. You have kept us. You have sheltered us. You have done us good. You have done great things for us. And Lord, for that we are grateful. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Every prayer that you have answered. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, as we depart to go home. Lord, let your hand rest upon us. May we never forget your holiness that you revealed to us during this time of consecration. May we always see you afresh each and every day and behave in that wise. We pray now in Jesus' mighty name and the whole church shouted Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we are going to leave. But in Zotella, Umamungo, Basi, Pegutti says, or Wednesday, and Jan Oxuga Manje, because the leadership prepared something for us. So, I'm Woto Langish on Fundiso Amenunch, Gau Alange and Amshanch. The leadership has prepared something for us, so don't just up and leave. This is part of the service. But in Isela, a couple in the same one. So we're going to break bread together uh, over a love feast. We're going to just fellowship. So please, no one must leave. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No one must what? Must leave. Uh, Mamgoba, please come and direct us. Oh, Nangu Mamjilu. Mamjilu, come and direct us. <laughs>